dip the air reeks of shit Scooby murder and sin If my throat wasn't choked I could shout at the top of my voice But I know no one is listening Submission, I know I could repent Anything to not repeat as my body is rent and bent I feel it and the soles of my feet are aching March defeated like a soldier's retreat Enveloping my thoughts, wrapping around my neck like pincers of some hidden creatures Some dark thing awakened, crawling in my soul I feel goosebumps like static rays on my skin Eyes masked in shrouds Hands wrapped in black silk, I cook it to my wrist And all I taste is black milk Sour tang from the iron of my own blood Sticking to my gums like a sucker punch Teeth crushed and my legs are heavy as lead Run brain set, but I'm already as good as dead Barbed wire in my chest, gulping air like notes on the wish of fate A last sign of hope disappears Like wisps of smoke, I choke as I'm trying to breathe Under trees made of evergreen I'm suffocated and gagged, chopped up, castrated And buried in wasteland in plastic bags Before we go anywhere, what what song? The the single that you hear at the start of near enough every single stream, or the tiny little bit that indicates we're playing this game. Hi Trev, what up? How's it going? Don't worry, I'll wait. The single. Why would you want to put the single on when we hear it all the time? It's just mind blowing that. Right, anyway, there's a video game to play, so let's click to play that because it should only take a mere matter of seconds to. There it is. Good bollocks. <sighs> well, that's immediately fucked me, hasn't it? And now everything's going to be all fun. I forgot it was a Kathy game. That's fine. It's fine. Look. See, we just do that one, we delete that one. This is why we are testing. Should have been testing. And I wasn't testing. We can get in the game now though, right? Or have I broked it? No, we're good. Because you like it, fair enough. memory recalls, we dealt with the old lady ghost in the apartment block and we had to deal with her son to make that happen and pretend to be him until she realised take her outside all that. So it means we've still got a jazz musician to deal with. Another another PS5 try. You know what man, uh, my boy Capacity in Minneapolis, his son stayed up until like 4 in the morning waiting for the next one a few days ago and he got one. He's like, maybe he'll let me have a go on his PS4 now. Lol, lol, jokes. 
Sorry, I'm a little bit later than I planned. Literally at one minute to nine, I got a text, uh, or a phone call rather, from Sam saying, come and help me get this shit out of the car. So I went, uh, got some food out, and I put it in the oven, and the oven wouldn't light, and it's still refusing to light. Hold the gas in, flame comes up, hold it for as long as you like. Let go, gas gone. That's a thing that's happened. Anyway, right, so who are we at the moment? I feel we are Joey. Right, I'm not moving from this spot until I finish my singing. Right, so we need to play fuck about tea to trigger the next events, right? I'm not moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Switch, switch to Joey. That's what I wanted. That's what I thought I was on in the first place, but you know, hey whatever. Nobody that old should move that fast. Just keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Joey, she could see you. How could she do that? I've not done any admin for know. ages. There are so many but streams. I think this case just got a hell of a pulling off a Twitch and putting up on YouTube and bear that need fucking editing. Fantastic. Notebook updated. I wasn't listening. What's what, what the updates? Can't actually look at the notebook. Oh, it's just her. Okay. Not a problem. Let's chat a second. Sure, what's up? That old lady. There's something about her. Well, she has killed Where's someone. everyone else? Yeah, but it's more than that. Same place they always she are. She was just an ordinary Missing. murderer. I wouldn't care. We just handle the victims of murder, not the murder itself. Got any ideas? Not yet, but she's definitely more than what she seems. Lucky us. That old lady. If we just got any ideas. I thought there might be more to that. Too used to the broke result two mentality of click it till it's gone. That's the thing. Do we do we follow this up yet? I think our reporter yeah, we friend did. is hiding something. You think that? I think, have I I ever, think there's, no. there's more to it than that, though. Can, can we leave now, please? Hey, have you done something different with your hair? What do you mean? I don't know. Something's different. I washed it this Past morning. Past Mike's bedtime. Isn't shampoo. It? Yeah. That's what threw me. Paul might be streaming. Give Cully time. He normally rolls in, doesn't he? So are we gonna futz around here all night? We got stuff to do. Yeah. So are we gonna play? Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. How do I trigger this shit? I can't play with the phone. Don't even try, Joe. I can't. You. Boy, if I could. T the local rag. It's her. It's her. I fucking hate the fact that I've got to wait for this shit. Uh, when when is that? Is that Friday? It is a Friday, isn't it? Traditionally, the old. Uh, Thanksgiving or is it a Saturday? I don't know. I don't keep up on my American holidays. It's obviously not Friday because that's Black Friday, isn't it? So it must be the Saturday, right? This is where we find out how long the delay is. Man, that is an old coat. I think soldiers oh, wore it during the Civil War. I thought it was the day after uh, the Black Fridays. Well, fair enough. Okay. What am I playing tomorrow? Lego. I assume there'll be no one here then for that because they'll be all, they'll be all well, you lot will all be off eating turkey and whatnot. A pair of muddy... I can't wear the... Come on, let's hit the road. This place is Boarsville Central. In a minute, Joey. No, now. No, I'm You'll not be here. Oh, you guess you're working, the right? The kid can find her own damn loose change. Leave hey, the, kid, come Leave here. the fam to uh, get on with it. Yeah, Joey? The only thing we've not spoken about is that. Looks like our night won't be so easy after all. Disappointed? Nah. Looks like disappointed. Nah. That old. If we just got not you lucky. Put your goddamn cigarette out. Let's all go. Right, let's get on with it. Yeah. Yeah. Just chuck it down onto the phone bowl. That works. Lunatic. I haven't had Thanksgiving since Mom, 2009. Fucking right hell, you. guy. Do you get, like, um, extra pay to work during the holidays, though? Yes. Twice in one evening? Come on in, sit down. I was really hoping to skip the cutscene, but not a problem. Uh, Do you know this. anything about a strange old woman wandering the streets? I've met plenty of strange old women, Miss Blackwell. Some stranger than others. Can you give me some more details? She calls herself the Countess. 
Mr. Mitchell. I feel I like her real name is like Courtness or some, no, or some stupid made up name, which clearly must have come as an afterthought a few games down the line. Spoilers. So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon. Tell me about yourself. Yes, yes, you do. I heard you. I hope you didn't come here simply to interview me. Well, feel free to drop a, a couple of donations something. tomorrow and I won't feel so bad. <laughs> Have you heard these reports of saxophone music on the Roosevelt Island promenade? Saxophone music on the promenade? I'm afraid not. I haven't been to that area since, well, in a while. So tell me about... I beg your pardon. Tell me about your... Yes, I heard... I hope you didn't come here simply... I'm afraid I'd make a... So how long have you been working here? Hello. How are you this evening, questions? Jessica? I'm just curious about the sort of work you do. I write about people, Miss Blackwell. What sort of people? Not the famous sort. Just ordinary people. You finally, we've only been streaming 12 minutes and it's just been so lonely. Like me. You find that amusing? Oh, not at I've got all. Got a slight pain going on right here in the uh, right tit region, but beyond that, we're good. I think that's all for now. All right. Desperately trying to sell yeah, a graphics card now. so I can buy a steering wheel for the uh, for us to finally get some Euro Truck Simulator 2 action in with the steering wheel, but you know. Oh, no worry, just, you know, an, an appearance is nice, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 27, I found a 27 for 100 bucks. So I'm trying to sell my graphics card for 100 bucks, and so far I had an, an office for 70 quid. I was like, no, it has to be the asking price. And uh, the guy was like, what's the lowest you'll take? And I was like, it took everything in me to not just go dot, 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 dot. The asking price? And I had a dude swooping before. Literally no other words, just 60 pounds. So I just simply typed back, no. <laughs> Fucking moron. Obviously I want the G29, but that's... What was that? That's still like 220 quid, I think. Whereas I can get one second hand in Southport. It's a bit of a drive line, but nothing too major. I could pick one up there for 100 quid and I could do that tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But I need to shift this card. And until I shift the card, I'm fucked. Because re really what I want is to shift the card <coughs> for 100 quid, go and buy the steering wheel for 100 quid, and then stream some Euro Truck Simulator with Crossdale on Friday. But that's looking very unlikely, so we're just gonna have to, eh, you know, ride it out. Well, is it is it just as good though? Uh, graphics card. It's an it's a blah, 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 blah. Nvidia GTX nine seventy. Four gigabyte RAM. Four gigabyte. Yeah, it's four gigabyte. Uh, GDDR five. I think that's made by Palette. I did some rooting around on um, Facebook Marketplace and eBay and shit like that to get a ballpark for, for the money. And I know I could probably flog it quite easily for 70 or 80 quid and just have some money in my back pocket. But at the same time, I want the fucking wheel. <clears throat> now, if I, could, if I could move it for 80 quid, maybe I could get the guy to go down on his selling price to 80 quid. But when I was searching for G27s, he's selling real low as it is. So, I don't know. Might be worth messaging back a couple of these people and saying 80 quid and then trying to low ballpark this dude. Anyway, we need to go somewhere and do something. Now something I really need to try and do, right, is do this without getting punched. Because that's that's a chivy in game that is. So let's let's throw ourselves a cheeky little save in. I've had, I've had this graphics card. I don't. Does anyone remember, uh, remember the stream where um, it was my birthday? Not the Twitch Sings birthday. I mean, the night before I was streaming Uncharted, Uncharted Four, and then Sam gave me all his birthday presents, and I got a fucking uh, 1070. So basically, the next day Tim came round and we switched out the cards, and I've just had this 970 sitting around ever since, meaning to sell it. <laughs> now I need to sell it, so. I'll be back, pal. Don't you worry. Okay, I've got no clue what to do. Wait a minute. I don't think he'd want that. 
No, but you can record it. We need this to go is somewhere. This a little recording device. I've been using it to record. First entry. I dream. I oh, fuck that noise. We need to. We need to record. That's how we bring them out. We we, we play. This is a little. I've some, been using some music. I need. I need a new location now. Put it the fuck away. Why is it still out there? Mavis, Mavis, it's no good. Oh, we got more lighter. Cigarette a pack. pack of cigarettes should last. Lighter. It's my lighter. It's Come. my trust. Take a picture. Of the I already. Oh, you already it's have a photo. What? You already have a photo. Though? I already have a Queensboro Bridge. Where is it? I haven't seen a goddamn photo. You talking some bullshit? Joey. I'm all ears, sweetheart. This is one of those don't know their dead spirits, huh? Yeah, another dead guy that's brain dead. We have to convince him that he's dead. He won't move on otherwise. Any thoughts on our sax playing ghost? No more than you, darling. He likes his music, that's for sure. I doubt we'll get anything useful from him. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll talk more later. We can't even get his name. Joey's obviously got nothing in his inventory. She's got nothing that we can, that we can use on him. Can I have a hint? That's not what I wanted. We can out of all the chivies, we've got one. Shiva. Interesting. Oh, fucking give up. <laughs> Hell of a selection of warnings you've got going on there, bro. <sighs> Do I cheat? Do I cheat? I mean, I've, I've genuinely got no fucking clue what I should be doing, so... Nope, I can't leave the kid. I don't leave... Oh, for God's sake. Wait, is, is the... I know this is dumb, but has the bridge got anything to do with it? Can I look at the bridge and get I some don't science? Think so. No. Queensboro Bridge, it connects Manhattan to Queens. <sighs> That's some view. I can even see the New World Trade Center from here. Too I don't soon. think so. He's playing a saxophone. Totally enraptured. I don't even think he knows we're here. Okay. State warning just sent to all cell phones in Pennsylvania. Jesus. Well, that's fun. Stay home for Thanksgiving, folks. See nobody do no things. I feel like I've missed a clue or something. We just look up in the phone book the word jazz and see what happens. There's no entry for that. Today's paper. It's w tabloid the paper? crap, but it gives us most of our leads. Of course the airport's packed, why wouldn't they be? We've already looked at You've this You've still got paper. a dumbass president in residence. any more leads. I'm gonna cheat. That's what I'm gonna do. Which is dumb. I've played this before. I shouldn't be struggling. But it was over a year ago. Right, 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 right. The trouble is I can't remember if we've done this or not. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, not necessarily next week. You'll give it uh, like two weeks, right? Incubation and shit. But yeah, it's absolutely going to go fucking bananas. Joe, fucking take this bastard saxophone. Hey, I'm talking, Buster. Hey, hey, you let, let go. 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 
I'm Joey. Pleasure to meet you. I don't, I don't care, care who you are. are. Nobody, Nobody interrupts, interrupts my, set. my set. I need to ask you a few questions first. Not nah, nah, now, now, man. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? There you something? go, there's Mike. Get, Get off, off the, the stage. Stage? Ah! Oh, that's, that's how we how treat we your kind at Johnny Ivory's. There we go. Johnny Ivory's? What are you talking about? Hello? Oh, we're dealing with a real show. That's one out of the three that you were expecting to see uh, show up from my side. Let's see if any more roll in. Let's text Paul. See how that goes. Actually, let's also bump on uh, the MC here. There we go. Let's, there we go. Messi messages for all. Life in the shower. Nice. Okay. Uh, we've we've got our thing. Let's let's do a save. Let's override that one. Lauren, let's go. Johnny Ivories. Now, was that apostrophe S? Yes? I'm or... not ready for a nap. No one asked you to have a nap. You should be paying attention to what I clicked on, which is that. It is apostrophe. How are we spelling Johnny like this? Johnny Ivory's Jazz and Cabaret. It's on Bleecker and 7th Avenue. You up for some jazz, Joey? You mean we finally get to listen to some real music? Call it my special treat. He's broadcasting his uh, typing ability, certainly. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Hey Mike, do you need a graphics card yet, bro? I know we have the same graphics card, but yours might break at any moment. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Same notifications for all. Hey, mister. I think yes. we need to get this guy pissed got off. Got a minute? That voice. Everything like you, I got several. Mm, uh, yeah. So what brings you here on such a sad night? I'm on a case. Is that right? Oh, yes. Very top secret. Sounds dangerous. Very. A guy could get into trouble hanging around a girl like you. I'm Lauren. What's your name? Pleasure is all mine, Lauren. You can call me C. C. You got it, sister. Little C of the C shops. Something I think is a thing. Is that C like the water? That's C like the chord. It's the first chord I played, and you never forget your first. I do. Ain't I forgot my truth? first chord. Do you know any other musicians? I do run in those circles, yeah. Any of them play here? Sometimes we get major gigs here. But me, I'm what you call the dependable type. These fingers... Lonely type by the look of it. Night long. <laughs> Can they now? Oh jeez, make him stop. That reminds me of something I was told like fucking near two decades ago. How the, uh, the benefits of dating and moi. Because... Uh, as a lyricist, got ability with the tongue. And as a bassist, got ability with the fingers. Science, bitch. Do you read the New Yorker? Nope. Sorry. I don't suppose you've seen a strange old woman around, have you? This is the village, sister. You see all sorts out here. She calls herself the Countess. Sorry. I'm looking for info about a musician. Well... I'll try to help you out. Who is he? I don't know his name. I think he's a sax player. I know lots of sax players, sister. Big guy, kind of chubby, has a beard. Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. Good. I need to look at the fucking photographs. See you around. Anytime, sister. I did not apologize for interrupting. Casey. Hello, Vin. It's okay for me to talk to you like this. I don't hear anybody else complaining. Cadell Knight, huh? You could say that. But I think it just got a bit more interesting. Is that right? Well, these lips don't lie. 
See you around. Anytime, sister. All right, Joe, I'm gonna need you to fuck about with this sheet music real quick. What do we have here? He's written something at the top of the sheet. Property of Cecil Sharp. Aw, how sweet. Maybe his mommy signed it for him. Okay. See, things I recall. Hmm, this one looks interesting. That's probably him. Well, will you look at that. Our sax playing spirit in the flesh. Take a closer look. Don't mind if I do. Whoever that is, I can't see him. Especially with such a pleasant distraction getting in the way. Well, that's going to be seeing it. Foe provided courtesy of Jambalaya Records. I can't wait to spell that in the phone book. Jambalaya Records, huh? It's as good a lead as any. I could write it down. Write it down. I like writing things down. We got a new note sheet over here from when we played Titanic. The only note is cunt 159.30. So that's good. Jambalaya Records, huh? It's as good a lead as any. Arr, arr, arr. Cool, okay, so doing that is as good as doing it with a... Hmm, this one looks interesting. Okay, what we got here? That's the same one. I... Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I clicked that one all the way over there and it's gonna do this one. That's not a problem. Got a text to calls. <laughs> got a text back from Cully. Who says uh, I'm masturbating halfway through? Should be done in an hour. Incredible. It's probably a studio or something. Okay. I see. <clears throat> Armed with new evidence. Let's uh, have a look at this. What's the band in that photograph behind you? That picture is old, sister. It's not that old. Old enough. Before my time is old. Oh, well, maybe it's your dad or is it your brother or something? Can I have it? See you around. Anytime, That's, sister. Again, not what I clicked. Hey, C. Hello there. Do you have a copy of that photograph anywhere? Nope. Sorry. Okay, well, let's say around. goodbye and we'll deal with the notes Anytime. in a sec because... We have a camera. There we go. Dealt with. I don't know much about pianos, but it... which means we should have. Yes. It's, it's the photo from Johnny. I. I don't know much. Please put it away. Hey, C. Hello there. Okay. Uh, Is there your go. name Cecil Sharp? Now, who went and told you that? Oh, you could say a little bird told me. Tweet, tweet. Well, you won't go tell nobody, will you? Lips are sealed. Is that it? Can we get any more out of that? So... Oh, ah, man. yeah, we can. That hurts, sister. That really does. <laughs> Sorry. So, Cecil... Oh, oh that that nothing else there. <laughs> Damn! Oh... Sorry, I just re I just remembered there was a final day for auditioning to be in one of these games, not the Blackwell series, but a Wadget Eye game, and uh, and I missed it. I missed I missed the, the last call for it. Bollocks! That's a shame. Because I, I really want to be in one of these Wadget Eye games. See you around. Any time. Let's roll back home. Looking for jumping records. Was it records? Can I just search for Jambalaya? Jambalaya catering, Jambalaya publishing, Jambalaya's used cars. I refuse to believe that word specific. is used that much. Here we go. Jambalaya Records, 240 Essex Street. I'll jot that down. Write it down. She likes writing things down. Come on, let's get out of here. Yes, right let's. Behind you. I, th I think, for the moment at least, all I needed to do was just get that one little nudge, which was to grab the saxophone, and I should be okay. 
get a little save in here. Not 56. I'm sure I need to use Joey to do some spooky shit. Good evening. Good evening. Just watch it from the shower you. as you do. Queen. Lauren Blackwell. I was hoping you could help me. I've just got flashbacks to an what image of you in the you? shower, actually. One of those classic um, just the tip jobs. So what is this place? This? This is a music agency. We manage bands, do promotions, things like that, you know. Well by we I really mean we. Good. You do this all by yourself? Yep. Sam just popped in to say she's got a piece of cake and she's left again. What sort of music do you manage? Mostly jazz and reggae. Nobody famous. Most small timers have trouble getting their foot in the door. Yeah, tell me about getting it. Getting in small clubs, helping with recording sessions, you know. The basic stuff that musicians don't I still really want to, want to do a gig with. on Switch. Yeah, good old set. You're up and late. Really? Yeah, I suppose I am. I learned to work musician hours, you know. You play a gig at night and have a problem? You want someone to call? Your clients have lots of problems, do they? Don't get me started. Right, let's work through, uh, well, in order, I guess. Do you read The New Yorker? The New Yorker? No, not really my thing, you know. So you've never heard of a reporter named Mitchell, then? Nope. I don't suppose you've seen any strange old women wandering around. Not unless you mean my mother. <laughs> oh, he's got jokes. Herself, the Countess? Mm, not recently, no. Let's go in with the ghost before we go in with what is clearly family. I'm looking for a sax player. Well, I can definitely help you there. I realise I could be misconstrued from that. I seem to recall it is family. That's why I'm going oh, with that. Oh, no. Sorry. I'm not with a band. I'm looking for a specific sax player. Well, if he's a client of mine, I can help you. What's his name? That's the problem. I don't know. But he's in a photograph that your company took. Really? Oh, can yeah, I nice. see it? Sure, I've got a copy right here. Great. Let me see. Alright, well, we'll deal with that in a sec. Does the name Cecil Sharp ring any bells? You know, that name does sound familiar. Maybe they're not family. I must but, have remembered uh, incorrectly. I'm so awful with names, you know? Is he part of a band? Maybe. He plays piano. I've just noticed that the mouse Ivory. moves per pixel. Uh, Look, check out the, I deal the, the, with uh, all the time. frame but on the picture. That's not where I heard the name. That's fine. Hmm. This is going to bug me all night. I feel like we can cover both of these with the same photograph. Thanks for that. I might be back later. No problem. And by later, I mean immediately. Not drag and drop. Do you know click this Click and man? click. Oh, yeah. Point and click, if you will. I remember those guys. The C Sharps. Told you it was C Sharps. That was the band's name? Yeah, I used to manage them. You used to manage them, but not anymore? Nah. Been about eight, ten years. Time flies, you know. Double cup day. Hi again. Hi, Yosef. Chimwags. What can you tell me about the C Sharps? Oh, they were strictly lounge jazz, you know? Not really. But I saw them doing more. They really gelled, you know? Gelled? In tune with each other. And that lady had a voice like velvet. And her name was? What happened to them? Don't know. They disappeared. Got them a few gigs and cut a record and that was it. Can I have the record? They just moved on or just broke up. It happens, you know? I've got nothing else here. Is the name you know, but is he maybe? Uh I but hmm. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. Thanks for that. I might be back later. No problem. <laughs> oh for God's sake, we've got to go through the door before I can choose exit. Can we double click on this bitch? Single click, so we'll never know. Well, we'll probably know. Soon enough, let's uh, get over here. Hey C. Hello there. Do you know anything about the C-Sharps? <coughs> the C-Sharps? Nah. Nah, I've never heard of them. Okay. See so you around. Anytime. Can we do that thing where we combine things? Cecil Sharp. The C-Sharps. Cute. Real cute. Yeah. 
There we go. Casey. Hello there. Were you ever in a band called the C Sharps? What makes you think that? Um, just the name. C Sharp, Cecil Sharp. It's a pretty strong coincidence, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I guess. So what's your answer? No. You're a fucking liar. See you right. in it. Not a problem. I reckon we can probably we probably could have done this at the record store, so let's just head there and deal with that. Hi again. Hi yourself. Again. Hi. Hey. Was Cecil Sharp in the band the C Sharps? Cecil Sharp. C Sharps. Yes. I knew I heard the name from somewhere. So do you remember him now? Oh, yeah, he was the band leader. A genius on the piano. I mean, it doesn't look like it's been updated. So Cecil Sharp was in the band The C-Sharps. Yeah, that was definitely him. I guess if we actually read the description, then uh, we, we might stand a better chance of knowing Thanks what for the fuck help. we're doing. Yeah. I might be back later. No problem. Double click is not a thing. Confirmed. Hey, C. Hello. I want to talk to you about the C sharps. I said. I know what you said. And I know that you're lying. So shut the hell up and listen. <clears throat> I spoke to your old manager. He confirmed who you are. You spoke to Dwayne? Yes, I did. That... Fine. You got me. Yes. Right, mood. I used to run a band called the C Sharps. It was a rotten time in my life, and I'd just as soon forget it. Why are you stirring up these old ashes, huh? I have my reasons. Yeah, sure you do. <sighs> About that sax player. Yeah? He's in that photo behind you. So I know he's with the C Sharps and that you know him. What is this? You from that damn magazine? Magazine? The New Yorker. You a reporter? No. So who is he? You just don't quit, do you? No, you I don't. know so badly? Yes, I do. His name is Isaac Brown. Thank Isaac you. Isaac Brown? Yes. You happy now? Ecstatic. We'll see. Great. <laughs> what can you tell me about Isaac Brown? Him? He's a bum. A drunk, a nobody, a lowlife. He's also He's dead. Also dead. Oh and shit! How did he die? Called it. Someone strangled him to death with his bare hands. Isaac must have squealed like a pig. You don't seem very upset by this. No, but last time someone asked about Isaac, it was some reporter from the New Yorker. He came along, asked his questions, then bam, Isaac's dead. Really? Yeah. So forgive me if I don't take kindly to see how it's all coming together from the fucking old lady before. Who was the reporter? I don't know. Mitchell something? Slow talker. Drove me crazy. You think he killed Isaac? I just played the piano. I don't think anything. Especially not the past. Whoever did Isaac, the son of a bitch had it coming. So please, just get out of here. See you later. Yeah. Can I use the photograph here? He already knows about this photograph. Yeah, but I want to ask him something a bit more about it, but apparently I can't, so let's just head straight up to the New Yorker, because we are bossing this shit. Bruh. And ting. Yes. Skip on. I'm becoming. Come in, have a... God, I want to be in one of these games. I'm, I want my likeness in one of these games. All fucking jagged and shit. Pixel boy. Love that. I'd like to talk about Isaac Brown. Ah, uh, Isaac. You knew Isaac? Sort of, yes. I'm looking into his death. Really? That was almost five years ago. Why the sudden interest? Let's just say that I have a personal interest in clearing it up. Anything else you can tell me about Isaac? Anything else? Well, Why do you can want we to start? I don't want to go too in depth. Out of respect, you understand? Sure. I was drawn to him for the same reasons I'm drawn to anybody I write about. I felt he had a story that could reach people, enrich them, perhaps learn from. Really? Miss Blackwell, spend some time talking to the poor and the downtrodden. Walk down the Bowery and speak to the half-wits and the half Bowery. I've stayed in, in the one Bowery. Hour. You'll learn more from them than you would from a lifetime of schooling. 
Anything else? So what was Isaac's story? I know he played in a band called the C-Sharps. Then something obviously went wrong. What was it? Listen, have you tried asking Mr. Sharp? Yes. He's not talking. I don't blame him. He's probably feeling guilty. Guilty? Why? Why? He has his reasons. Could you, and you're uh, gonna tell me. I don't know. Tell me what those reasons are. I can't do that. <coughs> you can't you know, or I will fucking stab you up, son. Mr. Mitchell, I need to know what happened. Listen, I don't like this. I don't feel comfortable talking about people without their consent. I won't say any more about Isaac or his sister. Sister? Thank you. Sister? Uh, please, I'm not gonna say anymore. Who was Isaac's sister? I told you, not another word. Who was I, I About Isaac- I told you. Cool. I'd like to read your piece about Isaac. Uh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I never published it. You didn't? No, it seemed a bit in bad taste. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Ah, uh, you don't have a high opinion of journalists, do you? Well, you hear things. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'm well aware of the stereotype. I've written about deceased persons before when I felt it was in the public's interest. But Isaac, well, I felt the man deserved some peace. That's not what that uh, thingamajiggy said. Question his motives. If you felt his story could reach people, enrich them as you say, why didn't you publish the story? Listen, Miss Blackwell, Isaac didn't just die, he was murdered. Someone reached around his neck and strangled the life right out of him. That puts a bit of a damper on the story I wanted to tell. So nobody That's will weird. hear the story. I just got All a fruity smell. Him have been destroyed. Isaac's story might not this. reach people, but it reached me. Maybe that's enough. Why is that, I wonder? A bit spookums. <clears throat> I think that's Complete. all for now. Alright, you have a good night now. Piss off. You jolly bastard. What the fuck am I doing? I'm going to Johnny Ivory's. Cecil? What? I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. <laughs> you yes, got that's one! It! You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, now you've done it. That one. Look, I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Sorry and enough, sister. Leave. I'll leave, but I'll be back. You really have a way with the fellas, kid. I uh, don't sweat it. His bark is worse than his bite. Okay, so this time we... Look what the cat dragged in. Let's just get angry with We need to talk. Look, Buster, I've had it up to here with this. I need information, it's stuck in your head, and I plan on getting it out. Less talk and more get the hell out. Fine, I'm going. God damn it. Well, that certainly worked wonders. We'll have to change our tactics if we want to get him to talk. Well, we've only got oh, one tactic left, so it you. should be fine. Hello, Cecil. What are you going to do, throw me out? Oh, is that a challenge? Don't tempt me, lady. Leave. Okay, this is me leaving you alone. Ever think of moonlighting in PR? You're so good at talking to people. Seriously, whatever you're what doing, you can't handle it this way. Let's, um, okay, I've got, I've got an idea. Uh, let's try the records. If this doesn't work, we'll have to go and talk to uh, the SAS guy again. Which will involve a save, so we don't get smacked in the face again. Hey, bro. Hi again. Hi yourself. Again. Yellow. Yeah, no. Right, before I click that, let me know wherever this is. Ben Ruff pissing himself. Fucking Instagram jokes. Do you know anything about Isaac Brown's sister? Sorry, no. You want some Instagram I jokes? Follow Gracious Bears on Instagram. In it. So what do you, you know say? Any Sorry, I barely. Okay, cool. 
Thanks for the um, no. Shut up. Let's get a cheeky saving. Alright, Joey, let's not get fucked up about this. Hello. Because if you get smashed in the face, we gotta reload the save. Let go of that. Tell me about your sister. Huh? huh? What you what want you with want my sis? sis? Nothing. I just want. You stay you away from my sis, you hear? Alright, Mac, relax. Get, get out of here! It's gonna get hit on her. Yep. Ooh! -hoo. Cool. Load. Oh, not you, woman. How am I supposed to use a good? Uh, at least we've got the pair of them over here. Yeah? Save again. Saves time for when I fuck it up. Hello again. I said, let go of that. Okay. That's about him. You're Isaac Brown, aren't you? What's it to you, man? So you are Isaac Brown? How do you know me? Get away! Get out of here! God damn it. Ah! For all this for the sake of one steam chivy. Where are you going? Hello again. I see. <sighs> okay, these are no good. What do you know was, about a reporter bad. named Mitchell? Mitchell. Mitchell. I'm, not I'm not sure. sure. He's, a He's a nice, nice man. man. He, asked he asked me about my life. Okay, this is going well. He bought me a drink. Gave me $10. This is going well hey. as well. Hey, hey, hey. what are you what doing on stage, stage, man? Oh, here we go again. Get out of here! For God's sake. Da! You're meant to only get hit once. How? Everything you say to him results in getting smacked upside the head. Hello, I... Just what are you... What am I doing? What do you think I'm doing? Get away, Get away from, from me, me, man! Fucking goddamn bastards. Okay. We didn't get hit then, did I'm we? I'm gonna talk to you, or so help me, I'll- GIVE ME THAT! Okay, I think- I think we- we did okay there. Just in case. In fact, no, just- just in case- just do it again. Just do it again, just- just in case. That's me not paying attention, paying too much attention to my goddamn phone. Hello, it's cool. I see- Just what are you- what am- what- get on- Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna- or- GIVE ME- Cool. Okay. Okay. I now, are we gonna get smacked upside the head again? Your eyes. What's it? So you had to get him. Get. Yep. Ow! Right, let's just go through all the options until we get one Hello. that doesn't result in being I... smashed. Have you seen an old oh, lady? You seen those? Yeah, you know. What do you know? Nothing. No. Get. get. Right, skip all. Oh, Ow! Bastard! So we get hit with that one as well. Hello. I thought it was on something I... then. All right, well, let's actually listen. About the old. I said I, said I, know, I know nothing. nothing. Get off! Get out of here! Ow! <laughs> Fucking shots fired at Ben Roth. Right, so nothing really worked there. What are you? Hey, what are you? Uh, get. None of this shit oh. works. None of this shit. Good.
and now some light advertisement. Okay. I was going to say I doubt that's done anything to our numbers, but it has. We've lost one. Not a problem. Okay. Our notes. What have we got? We should definitely be Lauren to do this. <laughs> so Isaac Brown had a sister. The plot thickens. No. Hmm. No, I don't see any connection. Did we cover this at... Oh yeah, we did, and then we got kicked out. Shit. Okay, let's let's bounce and see see what we can pull up in a minute. Wait, can we record him now? Record the saxophone, not the ghost, right? I don't think he'd want that. That's why I clicked the saxophone, Nobed. I don't think Queensboro Bridge. Useless. Right, no problem. <sighs> we gotta we gotta work this out. I know that expression. Only time a man gets a look like go. that is when he's hung up over a woman. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. That's all I need to do this whole time. Look what the cat dragged in. Right, first of all, fuck you. Hello, Cecil. Secondly. Sympathy? Love. Sympathy. Look, obviously something's wrong. Why don't you try talking about it? What is this? Some kind of psychotherapy? You here to get me to open up about my feelings? I'm here for Isaac. He's not worth it, and neither are you. Just get out of here. I'll leave, but I'll be back. Stop and think, sweetheart. Soon as Piano Boy sees you, he gets all bent out of shape. You won't get anywhere this way. Okay, we'll try the other one. You just don't give up, do you? Nope, never will. You up for talking like a civilized human being? You loved her, didn't you? Of course I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would've... Yes. Damn you, woman. Damn you. I just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Why don't you just leave me alone? Let's state the obvious. You're upset. I didn't want to upset you. I'm upset. Yeah, great observation. My bad. If you're so concerned, why don't you just leave? Fuck. That sake. would make me feel much better. Okay. This is me, leave- Mwah. Joey. Hope. A shame I can't talk. Fucking shut up. Look what- You up for talking? Press. So what happened, see? It's very important that you tell me. Alright, alright. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested, but you're never gonna leave me alone, are you? No, I won't. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then, she died. Then he died. End of story. Okay, right. Let's do the thing. How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band, and I saw them perform together. She could sing like... It was magic. Such energy. Such life. Such a waste. <laughs> that is well funny. Right, Paul Powell coming in. He's gonna be, he's gonna be greeted by a. There's Cully as well. Look at this! What a team up! Just in time for me to hit BRB as well. I won't be long. I'm going for a piss. See you in a sec.
we open this. Don't worry, look, I'm here. Cully, you want to engage conversation? Now is the time. Let's also play the game. What happened to Sarah? She got sick. Pneumonia or something. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. She got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Oh no. The doctor said she would never sing again. Oh no. After that, the spark just went out. Sparkle. She hung on for a few months, but she just lost the will to live. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I love that woman. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. You probably should have. About Sarah. I told you everything. Please, okay. just stop. What was Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sex. Personally, that was the end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. What happened to Isaac after Sarah died? He went to pieces. What do you think? Oh, he couldn't cope. Drank way too much. Started fights during gigs. I tried to stick with him out of respect jump, for Sarah. Fat boy jumping off the stage with a sax. He was a big, <laughs> dumb embarrassment. So you cut ties with Isaac? Completely. Told him he was a drunk and a low life and wasn't worth the peanuts I paid him. Which was, let's face it, totally true. What happened? He beat me senseless is what happened. Knocked me out with the sacks I bought for him. <laughs> cool, then he man. became a bum. Spent the rest of his life living on the streets of Roosevelt Island. Till he got killed by some drifter. You don't know who killed Isaac? Yes, I killed him. Oh, come dun, on. Dun, dun. No, I did. <clears throat> I'm not the one who put my hands around his neck or choked him to death. But I killed him just the same. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I know that. My brain knows that. But my heart won't listen. Try a song about that. Can you tell me any- No, I've- t Okay. I don't suppose you've seen a strange- This is- you she Sorry. Yeah, 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 I think we got everything. Except we haven't. Music. About Sarah. I totally- We need the music. See you later. Yeah. You know, all this talk reminds me go. of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah. A duet. At the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano, if you can believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. And Isaac loved that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Oh, well. Cecil? What? Play the tune? What was the duet that Isaac and Sarah used to play? Oh, that. It was just a short little thing. Mm -hmm. Isaac would just improv the whole thing. But Sarah's was always the same. With something like... I need access to stuff. After Sarah died, Isaac would play gigs, but refused to leave the stage. He'd blow on his sax, playing anything that came to mind. Feet planted like a statue. He'd just keep playing? He'd play forever if I didn't get four guys to drag him off. I think... I think he was waiting for Sarah to play with him. He was supposed to finish each show with her and... Well... In his heart, he refused to believe she was dead. Okay, play it again. Could you play that song again? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll give him my mouse. I think I've recorded enough. Where the fuck are you going? We got this. End game time. Let's uh let's head down here. It's also safe. This is good because Joe's coming in. That's how good a quality that fucking dictaphone is.
Ah, the flash of realization. Hi. Sis? Is that you, sis? I've been waiting for so long. No. No, Isaac. I'm not your sister. She couldn't come. No. No, she couldn't, could she? My sister's dead, isn't she? Yeah. Now I'm dead, too. Yeah. I knew that. Deep down, I knew that. I just couldn't let go. I'm sorry. Is that why you two are here? To help me let go? That's what we do best. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Don't worry. Just leave everything to us. Here, just take this. Ben Ruff putting in for a fucking what Zumba stream. Hold on tight. This is the fun part. Yeah, got the chivvy. Naughty synth music. Hi, Isaac. Hey, this is it. Throw some rapid yeah, drums on it, some fucking low frequency bass. Bang at this. Still can't believe I'm dead. Why'd she want to go and do a thing like that? I'm sorry, I wish I knew. I don't think it matters anyway. It's time I draw my sis. Just head into the light. Thanks, lady. You've been real kind. And uh, tell your friends sorry for the crack on the head. <laughs> right. Another day, another spirit gone to the rest. Hmm. Rest. Well, that's a nice word. We're about to get murdered. Again, yeah, with the spoilers, fine. but something Exhausted. bad's about to happen, and we need to fix Sounds it. good to me. You. Like clockwork. You saved him? Yeah, sure we did. No thanks to you. We've got some questions for you, lady. Why did you kill Isaac and Mavis? I didn't kill them. I'm like you. You're nothing like us. We don't kill. I help spirits into the next world, like you. You mean, you're a medium? Yes. But you can't be. I am like you. Wait, no. This doesn't make any sense. Why are you killing people? Jesus I Christ, ben. save people. I don't hurt them. Get back here, stupid old hag. Let's get after her. I wish they used compression during these recordings. Fucking hell, Ben. God damn it. Your nose okay? That lamppost should not have been there. Talk about the return of Bantamania, eh? That's not going to happen. <laughs> My okay. couch. It yes, doubles I'm... Shut up. Let's get a save in, shall we? <sighs> okay. Joseph. Feeling better? I'm so confused, Joey. I feel like the answer is on the tip of my tongue. I just can't figure it out. Well, let's chat for a while. Brainstorm a bit. Maybe we'll come up with something. She's a medium like me. It makes no sense. It does make sense, actually. She's not an animal or another ghost. The only way she could see me is if she was a medium like you. Why would a medium kill? Maybe she doesn't think of it as killing. She did say she helped people, saved them. By killing them? Maybe she felt they were better off dead? I don't think so. Mavis and Isaac were sad mixed up people, but they didn't deserve to die. Maybe she thinks otherwise. Is she my future? What do you mean? That woman, the countess, or whatever she's called. Is that what happens to mediums when they get old? I... I don't know, darling. I really don't. But I won't let that happen to you. You have my word on that. If she's a medium, where is her spirit guide? You know, I wondered that myself. I'm your connection to the spirit world. The countess, or whoever she is, doesn't have that. Or at least none that we can see. Is it possible to be a medium without a guide? I don't think so, sweetheart. That's one thing I'm sure of. Medium and guide. That's how it works. Yeah, so that dead dude from fucking Most Haunted. 
What could have happened to her spirit guide? I don't know. I thought you couldn't leave my side. I know. Either her spirit guide managed to escape, or... Or what? Or it was killed. Is that possible? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. So what could her connection be? Dunno. Something has to connect her to the spirit world. It's not another ghost or we would see it. So it must be something else. Something that has a connection to everything we've seen. Or someone. Yeah, that's it. The Countess connects these two cases. There right, has to be go. something or someone else that has the same connection. There's more to it. What was his name? Yeah, him. Joseph Mitchell? Joseph Mitchell. Bingo. The reporter? How could he have this kind of power? I don't know how he got the power, but it all fits. He wrote about both Mavis and Isaac, and the Countess killed both of them. He seems like the best candidate. But it doesn't make any sense. Think about it. You're a medium. What is it that mediums do? We help spirits into the next world. Exactly. A medium needs a guide. Hers is gone. Somehow Mitchell fills in the gap. Our Countess is being told through Mitchell's writing to help certain spirits into the next world. It's not her fault they're still alive. You mean... I think you get the picture. Oh, God. Mm. I'm sick. Yes. It makes sense, though. How is this possible? There's only one way to find Free out. Rewriting! It's time we paid our friend Mitchell one more visit. Yes! Come on, let's go. He's gonna launch the sig onto the floor again or some shit. Yeah, no problem. Won't even stub it let's out. Let's get out of here. Right behind Put it onto you. That, uh, doormat. Definitely not flammable in any way. All the options are gone. Let's roll. Yes. Miss Blackwell. Hello again, Mr. Mitchell. I was just about to head home. Unlucky oh, lad. I'll just be a second. Well, if you insist, I do you have a seat. Thanks, but I'd rather stand. Go on, let him have it. Mind if I smoke? Well, actually. Thanks. <laughs> Ping into the fingers. Miss Blackwell, my patience is wearing thin. My family is waiting for me. Tell me what you want. You finished your writing for the day, Mr. Mitchell? Yes, yes I have. And now I'm going home. He's full of hot air. The page is blank. You haven't written anything today, have you? Why do you say that? The paper is blank. What? How do you know that? I have exceptional eyesight. There's dust. Don't forget the dust. And there's dust on the typewriter. Well, can't contradict you there. So? So, I don't think that's any of your business, Miss Blackwell. Well, now, fuck you. If you'll excuse First of all. me. Secondly, there's a connection Mr. here. Mr. Mitchell, two people are dead. So I gathered. You wrote about both of them. Yes, I did. You don't find anything suspicious about that. I've written about hundreds of people over 30 years. The fact that two of them happen to be dead does not surprise me. It's just a coincidence. Funny thing about my life, Mr. Mitchell? If something looks like a coincidence, it normally isn't. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Ooh, look at the sweat on this guy's brow. If he ain't lying, I'm dying. So to speak. Okay, Joey. Call his bluff. You aren't a very good liar. And you are poking your nose into things you don't understand. You'd be surprised at what I understand, Mr. Mitchell. Try me. Who are you, anyway? Let's do this. You come in, out of the blue, and bring up all this. No, I do. All of what? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I write about people and they die. Can you understand that, can you? My whole life I've been driven to write about people. Now I kill them instead. <gasps> oh no! Okay, uh... You've done nothing bitch. wrong. There's a woman called the Countess. She kills whoever you write about. A Countess? Killing people that I write about. That's a tall story. It's also it's the a truth. a lot to take in. Why would she do something like that? How did this happen? Probably because of your connection to humanity. I don't know. You said probably, so you're not sure? Not as such, no. Well then, I appreciate you trying, but I'd prefer if you left well enough alone. I don't think so. Oh my god, so many options. Okay, let's go straight down. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? I think it's a penance of some kind. I've shared the intimate details of people's lives with the world. Perhaps I revealed one secret too many. I don't think about it anymore. 
I just come to work like nothing's wrong. Everyone's been very polite so far, but I'm sure the ball will drop someday. Ooh, sudden yawns. Offer words of encouragement. You're not That's a murderer, two in my space Mitchell. of what? The no, same I'm amount not. of minutes? Five years back, I tried to write about a man. An old man in a bar. He was killed the next day, choked to death. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Then I wrote about another man, Mr. Isaac Brown. You know him. He died the same way. Still figured it was just a coincidence. But then it happened with Mavis Wilcox. For the third time in a row. No, I didn't kill them. Not on purpose. But if I wrote a fourth time, that would be murder. Plain and simple. Now, the third guy, or well, the first guy rather that he mentions in the bar, I'm pretty sure he shows up in the next game. So we'll, uh, we'll deal with that when we come to it. I can't leave it alone, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, rest assured you can. You seem like a capable young lady, and I'm sure you think you know what's what, but I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. I'm trying to help you. And I never asked for it. People die when I write, so I don't write. The problem's solved. Police action. If you won't help me, I'll have to go to the police. Oh, and tell them what? All those deaths, all killed the same way, so soon after you met them, I'm sure they'd be interested in that information. Is that right? Well... I'd be careful if I were you. Careful? I'm not without defenses, if you know what I mean. Is that a threat? Are you threatening to write about me? I didn't say anything. Don't you want to write again? Oh yes. But people are safe as long as I don't write about anything real. I've always wanted to try a hand at fiction. Had a story in my head for years. Probably give I'll that one a shot. World, see how it goes. But no more deaths. Not on my watch. He could be a hero. Don't you want to help? There's a killer out there. Who only kills people I write about. So I stop writing about people. Problem solved. Marta, it is time. You know what? Go right ahead. What do you mean? You want to write so bad? Write about me. Dust off that typewriter and get to work. Knock yourself out. Listen, I spoke out of turn. I didn't honestly mean. Hell with that. Just do it. Hey, this is dangerous. I know what I'm doing. I can't do it. Like hell you can't. You've been writing for how long? 30 years? More? I know you can do it. I want to meet this thing head on. It's the only way. Do it. You don't know what you're asking. What's the worst that could happen? You could die. Oh. Is that all? But... Quiet. Right. I was born in Troy, upstate New York. My Here mother's name was Patricia. My father... You getting this stuff down? This is where we need to save. Well, I hope you're happy. I'm never happy. Can't wait to hear the fucking aggressive music. Say 10. Probably the last one. Joseph? Let's deal with this. Hey. When do you think she'll get here? I don't know. I feel her coming, though. Not knock, knock. She knows who I am. How can you feel that? I just do. She was right. She's like me. Maybe mediums call out to each other. So, any thought on how to handle her? Nope. Not a one. I just want to talk to her. Well, she can see and hear me, so I can help. You're not alone. I kind of yeah. remember how to deal you with this. understand? You're not so. alone. I'm tired, Hopefully we Joey. can do it in one. I'm so tired. We're supposed to be a team. You can't make this kind of decision without asking me first. Button it, Joey. If this broad's a medium like me, then I have some questions for her. If I'm going to end up like that, I want to know. And if she kills you for your trouble? Well, then I won't have to worry. What happens to what you? What happens to me, huh? You die, well, what the heck happens to me? You'll move on to whoever's next. That's how it works, doesn't it? It's not about that. Maybe you'll end up with my baby brother. I'm sure you guys will get along great. Yeah, great. All right, I'll just leave you to it. Yeah. She's here. Can we get a save so on? polite of her to knock. Resave. Let's go. I... I know you. Yes, 
You know me. Come in. I'm watching you. So, what's your story? I want to help you. Help me, huh? You're in pain? Lost? I can help. <clears throat> Who are you? I am the Countess. Good. Do you have a guide? The spirit guide? I still feel her. She is gone, but not completely gone. What do you mean? Kid, her mind is snapped. She's not gonna make any sense. Yes. She snapped my mind. She went away and my world expanded. I see everything. Everything! It hurts! Uh, Mitchell. You're bonded with Joseph Mitchell. Is that his name? The guide who is not a guide? Yeah, sure, yes. why not? The non-guide. He speaks to the world. He spoke to me. He tells me what to do. Oh, he is so often silent. It's been years since I heard his voice. But tonight, I heard him. He told me to help you. He didn't tell you that. Why else would I be here? I... You're a fucking I'm lunatic? Here to help you. You're here to kill me. No! I don't kill! I will set you free! Yay. Hey, watch it, lady. <laughs> Who was your spirit guide? She had a name. I no longer know. I wish I knew. I cannot think. Not without her. Why did she leave? He's around somewhere. Why? I'm glad that, that someone fucking spoke. Jesus has been re lonely. Where is your fucking spirit Where guy? Where is your spirit? I don't know. Her voice is gone. Uh, I'm lost. On, I found out. that other voice. But he is so quiet. He's a shushy you boy. Mitchell. The true guide. She is gone. Gone. How did she go away? I don't know. She found a way. Why did she do that? Were you like me before your spirit guide went away? Like you? You know, sane. <sighs> Joey. I was happy. I was smaller. Saw the world in muted colors. And there was music. Sweet music. Provided by Gracious Bass. People. It felt good. Now <laughs> she's gone. Now I help people, but it feels bad. Will I become like you? Please tell me. That's all I want to know. You? You are loved. Loved? Loved by who? You are in pain, my child. Let me help you. I don't think I'll uh, like help, help you, you instead. instead. Help me? I need no help. You, you need all need the help. to be free. Hey. Oh shit, hey. it's on. Let her go, you old witch. Damn it. I can't do anything. Fight her, Lauren. Fight back. Can I have fight some access? Back, damn you. Right, let's fucking. Where's me singing? There it is. Immediately in your eyes. Fuck you, bitch. Right. All right. That's what happens when you mess with us. Stay away from her. Can we get a saving? No, she needs my help. <laughs> She's bleeding from a someone? cigarette to the Why eyes. You help me. You want What's a free spirit? One? Well, I'm you know the real about McCoy. That. Yeah, that's right. Come and save me. I'm right here. I... Wait. I'm supposed to help her. Oh, my head. I feel like you should have said I, but it's no problem. We can get a save in. Nice. I'm waiting. I'll save you. I'll save you, motherfucker. I'm in pain. What are you going to do about it? I can help you. Come on then. Be a big help. You're past your prime. I don't think you can handle it. You. Come on then, make with the saving. You need me? Yes. God damn it. Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. Well, come on. What are you waiting for? I... I want to help you. Why won't you let me help you? Get up! Uh, <clears throat> Joey? Out here doing the thing. Rumble the bitch. I'm sorry. Murder! 
She fucking fell off I the edge of the look, screen. She... Yeah. There's no... No ghost. She's gone. Gone. I killed her. Yeah, well. It was either her or you, darling. You made the right choice. Did I? What if What if that's me one day, huh? Oh, so I'm kill you. Be fine. confused and alone... You won't be alone. I'll make sure of that. You say that now. But look at her. Her guide was gone. I can't speak for the future, kid. Maybe someday we'll meet someone like her, and then maybe we'll find out more. But right here, right now, I'm here, and I'm staying put. That's something, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Immediately yeah, sparks up from out something. of nowhere. Is that the video game? Not quite. This is a bad idea. Oh, no, no, you good. don't need to do this. Hello? Hi. Jack? Lauren? Sis, is that you? Hello? Yeah, Jack. It's me. Where have you been? It's not important. I miss you. Tell me about your life, been Jack. Out. How's Maria? When's the wedding? This is a really bad idea. It's fine. There's the game. Yeah, bastard. When the sun sits quietly on the sea, when the stars shine on a sad old memory, that's when it went out. During the game, Lawrence smoked 41 cigarettes and Joey was hit one time by Isaac's saxophone. It's good to when know. The sun Locked. Shit. Not that one. The sea, when the stars shine, huh? Convergence? We're not there yet. <gasps> Careful. Spoilers. Uh, you, you know what, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay, uh, what's this message first and foremost?
good. <clears throat> right. Okay, well, that's the game, so that's the stream. Obviously, we'll be live again within the next 15 minutes, so I can uh, start the next game. Why is that gone huge again? Doesn't matter. Okay, right, um, end of the stream. Stay in your seats, stay in your seats. Just hit refresh every now and then, and, uh, and we'll be back. Uh. Good night, everybody.